we have already proved that there exists a positive square root for a positive operator. Okay? And now we're going to show that it's unique. How do we show that it's unique? Well, we know that T is self-adjoint, therefore it is diagonalizable. So we can say let V1 ta 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 Vn be a basis for V made of eigenvector. That means exactly a basis that diagonalizes T. And recall that we are assuming that T is a positive self-adjoint operator. So the corresponding eigenvalues, we have proved this in the exercise before, are non-negative. Of course, they are all non-negative. That's how we showed unique existence also in the previous slide. And how do we show now uniqueness? Recall from the very beginning, from the very beginning when we started studying linear maps, that when we evaluate a linear map on a basis, the result completely determines what the linear map is. And because of that, it's enough to show that R, this positive square root, has to be equal to square root of lambda times V for every eigenvector V of T. Okay, so for every eigenvector V of T and every positive square root R of T, we have this relationship. Okay. So let's prove this. So let R be a positive square root of T. Okay. By definition, a positive operator is self-adjoint. And by the spectral theorem, R also has an orthonormal basis uh, such that which uh, made of eigenvectors. So on this orthonormal basis, they are eigenvectors of R. And now what we have to show is this for every eigenvector V of T. So let lambda be an eigenvalue of T and V a corresponding eigenvector. And what we have to show is that R has no choice. R evaluated on V has no choice but to be square root of that num this number which number? Lambda times V. How do we show that? We write V, since there is this orthonormal basis made of eigenvectors of R, okay, so we can write V as a linear combination of this basis. Okay, and let alpha j denote the coefficients. And now we're going to use the only assumption we made, the assumption we made is that t equal r squared, because r is a square root of t. Right? So what is t of v? Well, that's lambda of v, because by, as by assumption, lambda is an eigenvalue, and t is the corresponding eigenvector. And since we also know that v can be written as linear combination of the ej's, then lambda v will be the same linear combination, but now multiplied by lambda. Okay. This is TV. On the other hand, TV is R squared V, because R is a square root. And what is R squared V? Well, these are eigenvectors. Okay. Alpha J times an eigenvector is also an eigenvector. And R applied to these eigenvectors is lambda J times the eigenvector. If we apply R again, then we get another lambda J again, so we get lambda J squared. So now let's forget everything that is in between. What we have is these two vectors are the same. Which vector? This linear combination of this, this basis Ej and this other linear combination of these vectors Ej. However, these Ej's, they are linearly independent. Okay? And if a linear combination of them equals another linear combination of them, then each coefficient in the linear combination has to be equal. Well, by linear independence of these vectors, each coefficient, this one here and this one here, is equal for every j. Now, how can these two things here be equal? Well, either the lambdas 
are equal or the alpha is zero. Has, so alpha has to be zero for every j such that alpha j is different from the square root of lambda. Well, therefore, when we write what is r applied to v, that will be, this is v, when we apply r, since the, these ej's are all eigenvectors, then we get the eigenvalue here in front, but these alphas, they are zero for every j except those where lambda j equal the square root of lambda. So this gives exactly square root of lambda times v, that means rv equal the square root of lambda times v, and this is true for every v eigenvector. Since there is a basis of eigenvectors, this completely determines what r is. There cannot be a different r that satisfies the property of being a positive square root.